Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Lightroom Quick Tip. Today we've got one here that, uh, you know, I've been, can't believe all these years I haven't made this tutorial before. And that is, when you get a new computer, uh, the first thing you want to do is migrate all your stuff. Especially your Lightroom catalogs and your photos and your presets and all those good things uh, over to the new machine. And I have never done a video how-to on that. And I thought, okay, I just got a brand new computer. I've got a new Mac Studio that I'm setting up. And I'm getting ready to move my Lightroom catalog and uh, photos over to that new machine. So I thought I'd take five minutes out here and do a quick video on how to do it. Okay, it's not hard. Just kind of a little bit of a pain here and there. Um, if you follow the steps, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, first things first. What's involved? Okay, to move your photos to another computer, we're going to need to copy the photos themselves. Okay, that confuses a lot of people with Lightroom because a lot of people think Lightroom's catalog contains all the photos. It does not. The Lightroom catalog is just referencing where the photos are. It doesn't actually contain your photos. Okay, so that's the first step. You're going to need an external hard drive, a flash drive, uh, something that's large enough to hold all your photos and copy them over to and transfer over to a new computer. Um, so uh, you could even use a AirDrop if you're on a Mac. You could copy your photos that way. Um, whichever way you do it, it doesn't matter. It all gets the job done but you've got to copy all your photos over to the new machine. Um, the second step, of course, is you're going to then need to locate your Lightroom catalog on your old machine, and you're going to need to copy and put that on your external hard drive or thumb drive or Dropbox, whichever you're using, and um, then we transfer that over to your new computer. Uh, and then lastly, you have uh, your presets and you know for years you've probably been collecting presets and you got a nice library on them well they don't come over automatically so when you install a new light version of Lightroom uh, your presets don't come along with it so we have to locate the presets and, and then copy them over again to the thumb drive the hard drive whatever you're using okay so these are the steps that we need to do and I'm just going to show you how to find out where everything is and then it'll make it very easy for you to do the actual transfer. Okay. So I have Lightroom open right now and I'm on my old machine and it's got my full Lightroom catalog. And, uh, so I need to go, well, where are my photos? Well, I come over onto the left pane here and I can see on my data drive, I have a folder called photo library. And then if I go below that and open that up, you can see I have all my subfolders of photos down below that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the photo library directory onto the external hard drive. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to then copy that onto the new system with the exact same location and naming. Okay. All right. So that's easy enough. Uh, and depending on the number of photos you have on your computer, it could take five minutes or in my case, it took over six hours. So it all depends on how many photos you have. All right. So now that we have that, we've copied the photos over. We then need to bring the catalog over and to do the catalog, we need to know where it is. Uh, right across the top, it tells us the catalog we're currently using. But I need to know where is that catalog and where do I get it? So go up to Lightroom Classic. Go up to Catalog Settings. Okay. And then from there, under the General tab, the first line will give you the exact location of your Lightroom catalog. So in my case, it is under the Pictures folder in a sub uh, folder called Lightroom. 
And the name of the catalog that I'm using is this name right here. Okay, now your name of your catalog may be totally different. Depends on what you named it when you started Lightroom years ago or what catalog you put your name on or you may have the default name of just Lightroom. Uh, it's entirely subjective to your system, but the process is the same. Okay, so you need help locating it. Just hit the show button and that'll open up a find a window uh, and give you the folder. There's the folder we want. And in there is your Lightroom catalogs. Okay, so this folder is what we need. So you're going to take this folder and you're going to copy it again to an external hard drive, flash drive, whatever you have. It's going to, you're going to copy it there. And then remember that the catalog is going to go exactly where it is on this system, on the new system. Okay. So in this case, when we copy this folder over, we're going to put it in the, we're going to put this folder, the Lightroom in the pictures folder. Okay. Very important. We try to keep the, the path names and the folder names just as they were so that Lightroom can find everything. Okay. So now that I have everything in that, we now have the catalog. We have our pictures. Last thing we need to, uh, bring our presets over. All right. Now everybody knows you go and you develop module and you got all these wonderful presets, right? And you've probably been collecting them forever. And we need to get them all off this computer and onto the new computer. All right. So this one's a little, a little dicey, uh, but not too hard. Okay. So we're going to go up to Lightroom Classic again, and then we're going to go into preferences. Okay. So now under preferences, you have all these tabs. We're going to go into the preset tab. Okay. And now for the confusing part, you're going to have two buttons right toward the lower third of the dialog box. One that's called show Lightroom develop presets. And then the other one says show all other Lightroom presets. I just love the way Adobe labels things and, and that it's, it's definitely a, and, and art they're perfecting you know, and not communicating what the hell they're talking about. Um, in English, the left one show develop things are the new, uh, format for Lightroom presets. Okay. And then this is for the older that don't adhere to the new standards. Okay. So in English, what you really need is just the first one here. Show Lightroom develop presets. So hit that button and it opens up a find a window. And you'll notice this one is in a, in a whole different thing under the Lightroom thing and under a folder called settings. And if we open up the settings, we can see there are all those presets, uh, and their folders respectively. All right. So settings folder is what we want to take. We want to copy it again to an external hard drive, uh, and then transfer it over to the new system. Now, very important. This one is buried. Okay. This one is not easily to get to. So when you get to the copy over the, the settings folder and you're on the new machine, you've got to go look for this path on the new machine. All right, and it's buried. So in this case, it's under the Macintosh HD, under users, then my username, then the library folder, then the application support, then under Adobe, then under camera raw, and then finally, there's the settings folder. Okay, and all you're going to do is copy your settings folder into that folder, and all your presets are now transferred over. Okay, so that's all there is involved to get it all over. All right. So this is the worst part. Okay. Because this is a really long dive down on your end of the hard drive. Now I recommend taking this screen, uh, take a picture of it, snapshot it, write it down in a notebook because this is a lot to remember. All right. And once you have that, then you can just go to the new machine with your external hard drive and then navigate right to this path. Okay. And then just copy your settings folder into the other settings folder and you're golden. Okay. Then you're going to have to shut down uh, Lightroom and make sure 
because Lightroom only reads these settings and reads these directories on startup. So you have to shut, shut down Lightroom before doing any of this. So anytime you're copying the files, the folders, the catalog, uh, you got to have Lightroom shut down. So that is the process. Okay. Uh, and like I said, if you go slow and you're careful, should not have any problems. Okay. And again, one last note, accidents happen, mistakes happen. So before you do any of this thing, please make sure you back up your system. Okay. Always have a good backup just in case, right? Have, have time machine and that do a backup on it. Uh, and, and make sure you're safe before you actually do anything. Cause I don't want to see anybody lose their pictures or their, have their catalog screwed up. All right. All right. So not much of a tutorial this week, but Hey, it's an important one because we do migrate to new computers once in a while. So it's a confusing process. Uh, if, if Adobe would start just saying, okay, you just, here's your support files. Just copy this folder over. Everything would come over, but Adobe is, has gone nuts on presets and develop presets and, and profiles and, and actions and everything's in a different location and makes it very difficult for the users to actually, you know, maintain their systems when they're migrating. All right, guys, till next week, you guys take care. Happy shooting.